Hey there, art friends. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to draw Snoopy. All right, to help you guys out, I will be putting the finished drawing right here above the Drawing Joshua logo. That way you guys have something to reference while we draw. Okay, so I have my marker. What I'm gonna do is go to about the center of the page and I might go up just a little bit, okay? I'm gonna start by drawing Snoopy's left eye. All right, so this is just gonna be a little oval, so small that I just filled it in while I was there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over just a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and do his other eye. And again, just another oval. All right, awesome job. Now, let's go ahead and draw his nose. So if we go down and we go over just a little bit, if you even wanna put a dot there. And now we're gonna make a bigger oval. This is actually even gonna be bigger than his eyes, okay? So we make a big oval. And again, I'm just gonna fill it in while I'm here. But if you're using a pencil and wanna fill the rest in later, that's more than okay. All right, now let's go ahead and give him a smile. So from the nose, if we go down and we go to the right, just a little bit, this is where we're gonna start his smile. So it's gonna come down. And as if you remember from the cartoon, all the lines are super like squiggly and wavy. So don't feel like this has to be perfect. I think it might almost look better if you use some wavy lines. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there for a second. And what I'm gonna do is from his left eye, I'm gonna go down to about the same level as this over here. So we go down and we come over, and then this is where we're gonna put the corner of his mouth, okay? And now we can go ahead and just connect like that. All right, great job. Now let's go ahead and draw his head, okay? So this smile kind of connects to like his jaw or like his mouth. So from here, what we'll do is just keep going up. And remember, keep those squiggly lines going. And once we kind of get to a little bit above his eye, we'll cut over and then it goes up once we reach that right eye, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's actually go down for a second and we'll finish his jar, his mouth, okay? So it kind of comes over a little bit and then once we get to about his right eye here, I'm just gonna put a little line down like this. All right, awesome job. Now from here, Let's go ahead and let's jump back up and we'll finish his neck here in just a moment, okay? So we're gonna draw his hat. So it's here, and I'm just gonna do this squiggly line that just kind of comes over. And we might just leave it like that for a moment, okay? We can keep going up. We'll extend it a little bit past, do a curve line, do a few more squiggles, and then we'll keep going down this way. We'll try to keep that same distance between here the whole way, okay? Now, let's go ahead and do the top of his hat. So, we'll go up, and we can come over a little bit, and then keep going over, and we're gonna go past this part here, okay? Maybe like there-ish, and then we can go ahead and cut down like that, all right? And then, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go all the way down and finish this hat. But, so we ended these right here. So, we'll go ahead and kind of give that top part of his hat down. So it goes squiggly lines. You can just do this all the way down. And we'll go maybe just a little bit past where we did the neck. Okay, so that's kind of why we did the neck earlier. So we know exactly how far to go down. All right, now here, let's go ahead and we're just gonna draw a circle. I'm gonna make it kind of a squiggly circle like this. That way it looks like the top part of his hat. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the top part. And we're just gonna connect this to here, okay? So I'm gonna do some more squiggles. You may do some bigger ones or you can do smaller ones. Maybe like that. All right, great job. Now, we're gonna go from where the ball started. We're gonna go up just a little bit. And we're gonna go like here, okay? This is gonna be the start of his ear. It's gonna go over. And then it's gonna go up and almost touch the hat, but not quite, okay? And then we're gonna do another line that kind of follows that exact same shape there. But this one's just gonna go right into his hat, okay? And while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this one in. All right, great job. Now, from, let's see here, we connected to the hat here. So we're gonna go up just a little bit. We're gonna go like there. We come down 
and over. Okay, kind of once we reach like the edge of his smile, then we cut over. And then let's draw the collar to his shirt, okay? So it's just this line that comes up and over. And this is actually gonna be the start of his bag, okay? So let's do the rest of his collar up top. So it's just a straight line, comes over and down. And then here, kind of comes up and over and down and just connects there. So I just connected his neck a little bit further. That way it all lined up. Okay. Great job. Now let's go ahead and work on his body and kind of the bag that he's carrying with maybe all the presents in it. So like I said, this is gonna be the bag. So it's just gonna go over and kind of just go right into his hat like that, okay? And then from where his collar is, I'm gonna go over just a little bit and down. And that's probably where the bag is gonna kind of connect to his hand, okay? So now this line goes over and just disappears into that ball as well. Now, let's go kind of where we started here, and we'll draw his arm. So now it comes down, and kind of comes back up like this. And this one I'm just kind of using straighter lines, because it's more of his clothing. And then we go back up, I'm just gonna put a small line here and over. That way it looks like a bend in his arm, okay? And then I'm gonna go up, kind of at an angle, we're gonna make a rectangle shape here. It goes down like this, and then cuts over. And I did a, a few little squiggles, that way it kind of looks like fur on his coat. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this up just a little bit so maybe you guys can see it a touch better. Okay, now let's go ahead and give him a hand, that way he can hold on to all the Christmas presents. So, from here we can go up, and then it cuts over, and then it goes up like that, okay? That way it kind of looks like his one finger is like behind the bag. And then we'll do this little curved line. It's almost like an upside down bowl or an upside down U. And then we're gonna do another little one like that. We'll do another little one. And then this just connects back into his sleeve like that, okay? And then while we're here, we're just gonna do his other hand as well. So kind of by this first upside one, upside down one that we did, we're gonna come up just a little bit and back down. We'll go ahead and do another one. We'll do one more. See how that kind of looks like another hand or his fingers behind there? And then we're gonna draw the sleeve of the coat on that side. So from this first finger, we're gonna come out just a little bit and come down over like that. Okay. And then to make it look like the bag is coming out of his hands from the side here, we're gonna go down. Now I'm gonna do some squiggly lines like this. And then we're just gonna connect this back to his other hand like that, okay? And then we'll go ahead and just put a line in the middle. That way it kind of looks like a crease. All right, then to draw his other elbow, we're gonna start here. Let's do this curved line that comes down. All right, great job. I can't see your drawings, but I just know they're turning out great. All right. So let's continue with his body a second. So from this sleeve over here, I'm gonna go in just a little bit and down, just a tiny little line. And then same thing over here, I'm gonna go down, maybe just a touch further. And now I'm just gonna connect these. So I'm just gonna do kind of like a squiggly line, maybe something like that. All right, and then we're gonna go out and down and over, maybe like this. And she could come over, but we're gonna stop here, okay? Because as you can see from the reference photo here, we're gonna draw his foot. That way it looks like maybe he's running or something. So this is basically just gonna be a big oval. Comes like this. Comes down. Like that, all right. And then to draw his leg, we just draw a tiny little line that goes behind there. All right, then let's draw, let's draw some lines on the bottom. That way it kind of looks like his foot. Okay, or maybe his shoes. I don't actually know if Snoopy wears shoes. So we're just gonna draw this little line that comes up. And these can connect to the top. They don't have to. It's totally up to you. I might just do like four lines. Maybe something like that. All right, awesome. Now let's draw his other foot. So from the end part here of his coat, I'm just gonna keep going up 
and then it comes down. And again, I'm gonna kind of do these little squiggly lines. And it's gonna go up maybe a touch higher than what we ended this foot, okay? So it comes down, doesn't quite touch. And we'll go up in there. And maybe like that, okay? Now let's just give them a couple toes. So maybe one here and one here. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw his big Christmas bag that he's carrying full of presents, okay? So from this foot, we're gonna start maybe here. We're just gonna go down and up and kind of just do these squiggly lines. That way it looks lumpy, like he's carrying tons of presents, okay? And then keep going, keep going. Maybe like that, okay? And then from here, what we can do is start a line that kind of goes out at a little bit more of an angle, okay? And then from where that line kind of intersects or where it kind of makes like that V, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and connect this back to the ball of his hat, okay? And then we can go up with this one and I might go over just a little bit, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's put some presents in his bag, okay? So from where his head is, I'm just gonna draw a line here. I'm just gonna make it look like there's a present behind there. And then we'll do another little line. That way it looks like another one. That way you can't see the full present. It's gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so now where this line goes and connects to the hat, we're just gonna pretend like it keeps going, okay? Maybe something like this. That way we know where the, the top of the bag is to connect the presents, okay? So if we, let's do this. So if we come, let's draw that present. So if we're here, we'll just come at a little bit of an angle, just a straight line and down, okay? And then we'll do another line and this is gonna be a straight line. And then we can go ahead and draw the ribbon on this present as well. Something like that, okay. And you can do way more presents if you'd like, or you can do less presents. It's totally up to you. You don't even have to put presents in, the bag, in his bag if you don't want to. Okay, so now from here, we'll go up, maybe like this. Just do another straight line there. We'll make this one a big present. And then we're gonna do a straight line like that. Kind of at a little bit of an angle, but still a straight line. And we'll do it, kind of disappears down into there. Okay, we'll do another line, maybe like that. And then from here, we'll do a stripe, okay? So that way it looks like ribbon. All right, awesome. Now what I can do is go ahead and put the rest of this bag kind of behind there like that. Okay, and then we're just gonna add a couple more lines. So there's a couple lines on the bag to give it a little bit of depth and some texture. And I forgot this little line here that connects his hand. All right, then if we wanna add one more thing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a shadow underneath him, okay? So from where the edge of this bag is, we might just kind of put a line like this and you can kind of make the shadow whatever you want. Snoopy, they use a lot of squiggly lines and lines that don't necessarily have to make sense. So if I'm gonna put like the letter U and this is gonna make it look like He's running in air. Maybe something like this, just kind of like a sideways oval. And I might put another line up like this. And another little one like that. Doesn't have to be anything specific. Just gonna make it look like he's up in the air. Okay, so, and just like that, you're all done drawing a Christmas Snoopy, okay? So, as you can see from the reference photo, I'll probably color mine in red, and maybe the presents, I'll probably do something colorful and bright, but you guys are welcome to color it in whatever colors you like, or you can pause the video at the end and match the colors that I chose. All right guys, so as you can see, I colored in my Snoopy uh, with a red jacket and I kind of used a light brown for the bag and I used some bright colors like a blue and a green and a little bit of orange to color in the presents. But I'd love to see how your drawings turned out. So feel free to tag me on any social media posts and please remember it is okay if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine. Everyone's art is going to look different, but please remember to practice and practice and always have fun. Thanks everyone.